I was always interested in science. I don't know, I, I can't remember when I wasn't interested in science. I had all kinds of like science fair projects. and My, my mother and father really encouraged me. They weren't scientists at all, uh, but uh, they just encouraged my curiosity. For me, it was, there, it was, there was never any question that I would not be in the field, some field in science. And frankly, when I went to college as, a, uh, as an undergrad, I had no clue what I really wanted to do. And I saw an ad that said, are you interested in climate and weather? If so, apply for a fellowship in the atmospheric science program at Ohio State. And I thought, oh, atmospheric science. Oh, there's a lot of physics in that. And so I actually applied and I came to OSU and got my master's and PhD in atmospheric science. By the time Lonnie and I actually graduated with our PhDs, we already had a, cl a class 100 clean room for our analyses. We had a freezer to store the ice cores, and we actually had National Science Foundation grants to support our research. As time has gone on, people have asked, well, as your program became more successful, etc., why didn't you, like many people do, you know, uh, just pick up and go somewhere else? And our, our reply to that has always been, we've never really found anything that we couldn't do at Ohio State that would force us to have to go somewhere else. Ohio State has been a fantastic place to build our program, to build our careers, and Columbus, Ohio has been a wonderful place to raise our daughter.